Is it? Yes, it's working. Good. Hi, Paula. So uh, we're at the um, uh, Bromley Civic Council. Yep. Uh, great place for uh, scum and villainy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, what happened to your repetition? Um, basically, well, Labour called for an independent review, which actually the Lib Dems um, supported for more housing to be built, as was Labour called, but unfortunately uh, the Conservative uh, Party decided no, there's not going to be no independent review and no further action is going to be taken, so basically rejected my petition, calling for Bromley Council not to uh, evict people and stop the false relocations, and of course people have been moved out of borough, we've just heard in the council chambers tonight, so, but, well I'd say, right, you know, We've got our work still to do, and we're not going to give up. We're going to keep fighting. Okay. From what if I uh, gather, there's no. If, um, if they okay. get in next year, they're going to abolish you anyway. So that's going to be egg on their faces anyway. Yeah. So. I did read that actually Bromley doesn't have any social, uh, council housing at all. Yes, no. it's got um, social housing and everything, and um, but uh, it's, it's housing association properties. The council sold off all their housing stocks, which is what all the reserves are that they were currently uh, sitting on in different banks around the world. I see. So, um, anyone know how many uh, how many of those people actually own ex council housing stock and they're uh, renting it out to the private sector? Don't know, but that's something we've definitely got to look into. But they're sitting on over 105 million pounds worth of reserves due to the selling off of council uh, stock housing stock. Holy, I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> and they won't spend that to uh, so they don't have to implement the cuts because they could use the reserves and none of these cuts have to be implemented. It's ideologically mm. driven. But coming from <coughs> national government to implement here, they didn't have to implement it, so they want to. Okay. And they didn't pay any attention to what I said, but you know, in work people are being severely infected. In fact, in work poverty is greater than out of work poverty if they counts for us have paid no attention to that. And I think it is an absolute shame that Alexa Michael, a counsellor in there, said that my friend who died on the 12th of uh, August 2013, it was his choice. He was driven to his death by the shambolic, callous, cruel and inhumane policies of this council. He, he starved to death, he had no roof over his head, mental health cuts affected his life and he's dead. And they are responsible for his death. And we will get justice for that. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, guys. And then, yeah, please keep taking this out. Anyone in Bromley actually knows more about these details? Ah. Yes, we need help. Uh, exactly, we need help and uh, contact we need us. Help. Thanks.